Hey church family, Scott Brooks here. I'm the lead pastor and on the teaching team here at the Door Church. And uh, I get a lot of questions during this season. And the question is phrased a lot of times like this, is like, how's the church doing? What I think people are really asking is like, how is the church dealing with the situation that we're in has has anything changed and what I want to communicate is like everything is changed in 2020 but like nothing has really changed in 2020 and here, here's what I mean so I was really praying about how to answer this and first uh, Samuel 17 really popped in my brain and that's the story of David and Goliath and so a lot of people know that story um, and they love that story as a child I love that story thinking about like a nine-foot human being and you know five smooth stones and facing your fears all these different things that we can uh, talk about with David and Goliath some people was like that's a type of Christ amen uh, Jesus came to defeat sin Satan and death which certainly David was appointed to what most people don't understand about that story is this was a time when the Philistines and Israel were fighting and there's uh, very unpredictable very uh, very uncertain times and Goliath would come out every morning and evening and say man basically who are you this this people of Israel and mocking them uh, man challenge them who would dare fight me uh, and whoever wins you know can basically be the other servants and everyone cowered they froze they they went into hiding it says they, they almost quivered um, and just think about 40 days this went on morning and evening so there was a, a season of just just they're petrified and when someone is, is scared they, they retreat they hide they uh, they cower what scripture says here is this was be beginning to become a new normal and I don't even like that one it was new normal uh, this was the normal cadence every morning they get up it's like who, who's gonna fight me no one in the evening who's gonna fight me no one and everyone was paralyzed with fear David came up from his father's house and he heard Goliath say what he said mocking Israel and Israel's God and he said this for who is the uncircumcised Philistine that he should defy the armies of the living God and so David saw something different here he saw yeah there was this a great opponent a great Goliath a giant uh, a great army a great foe great uncertain circumstance instead of retreating in fear he said, who is this uncircumcised Philistine? And yes, he's talking about who he belonged to primarily. So it's a statement against Goliath, man. He didn't belong to God, and we do. And so it's remembering who we are in God. It says, yes, man, this is a challenging foe, but we should not be, be afraid because remember God. And so um, he, he didn't settle for the normative that was going on in the culture of being afraid. He said, remember who we are in God. And that's what I'd say, how are we doing as the, as the Door Church, is we haven't forgotten who we are in God. We still belong to God in Jesus Christ. We still have the same mission, to see lives restored with the gospel for God's glory. We are a gospel-centered people that are continually proclaiming Christ in word and song every single weekend to TDC kids, to students. We are community-driven. We are unapologetically wanting to regather together because God says community is not only important but vital for our spiritual health and we are continually being other people focused that we want to love people as God has loved us and so when I say man everything has changed this year it has but for the church nothing has changed why because God is still on his throne we remember God we don't have to worry about what everyone else says we want to be safe hear me we want to be safe but man, we're gonna continue on with the mission of the Door Church. God is blessing it, the Holy Spirit is moving, and that's what we're called to. So we ask how we're doing. Man, we're doing good, why? Because God is still good, God is still wise, God is still in control, and God is still working for His glory and other people's good. And by God's grace, we get to be a part of that mission. And so we will not shrink back. We wanna be like David and say, remember who we are and we'll press forward. I love you, church family, and I look forward to seeing you soon.